Sometimes I just want to write down some quick information that I want to store for later, like say echo and some thing that I need to remember, right? And then I execute some more commands and it gets lost in history. So let's say I go to history and pipe it to less so I can see it at least a bit. Go down. Okay, now I can see that. But what if I didn't? What if there are, were more commands that are not echo? Stuff like this that I would have to uh, go through and actually visibly try to figure out what is it that I'm looking for. So because of that, I decided to create something that could show me history, but only for specific commands. And I've done that. It's called view command. It's a function that I will show you later. So let's do view command echo. Boom. Now we have all of the echoes that I have ever entered. Almost ever. I probably don't store the entirety of my history, I don't think. At the top, you'll see the most recent thing, and then at the bottom, the least recent thing? So, the oldest thing, I guess. And boom, now I can actually look at all of my echoes. And the situation I was actually talking about is this. I go through a C-sharp course, and I wrote down the points that I stopped at the last time. So quite nice and it doesn't only work for echo that was my initial thing it was just echoes and then it would list all of my echoes but actually being able to look through the history of every command is very useful let's do view command dot net see how i didn't type in the extension i didn't type in dot exe i just typed in dot net so with the view command you can actually Admit the extension no matter what it is and it will both include the .exe and without it as well because .net used to be an alias for .net.exe on my machine but I made it into an abbreviation instead on which I actually have a video on but if you type in .net.exe naturally it will not catch just .net so you can just ignore the extensions if they're not important because they're going to be searched for regardless. And here is the entire code. Yeah, so first of all, we get the history, the entire history. But if you only want some of it, you can specify whatever it is. Then this is the magic that actually searches for the command that we are looking for and highlights it in red. Then we reverse the input. So the most recent thing appears at the top and the least recent thing, so the oldest thing is at the bottom. And then we pipe it into usually less, but maybe use most instead and have that as your pager. It'll pipe into that instead. So all you have to do is copy this code from my dot files to which I leave a link to in the description under every single video. Just copy it into your dot z shell rc or dot bash rc. It should work there or any shell except fish I can only imagine. I don't see how this would break the Geneva Convention of POSIX compliancy. Uh, and then you do exec z shell, which is, I think, a faster method of sourcing the z shell rc file. See how that's. Oh, now it's updating. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, you can instead just do exec z shell or just z shell, I feel like would work to source everything into your shell. Uh, fun fact, which I didn't intend to mention in the first place, but I hope it's useful. So if it was, leave a like, type some comment, maybe you have a question or a suggestion, definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content, but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!